What's up, y'all? It's Wax at again. It's video time. Um, I'm gonna try to do a quick one here. I don't want to conf conflate this. Um, I was gonna do this about three or four nights ago, but it just happened to come up in the uh, MV Nation forums. This question, so I'm gonna try to knock this out real quick. And basically, it's about the workflow of resampling with like uh, the M MFX processor, like the Lo-Fi or compressor or whatever but uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you what I did um, to uh, ease the workflow it's gonna be a template just like the base patches and um, if you want it just hit me up let me know over YouTube comments inbox or whatever that you want it and I'll set you up with that um, now basically I did a, a a flow chart of how I wanted my load five processors set up um, I did one low five processor and I copied it to the hard drive um, basically I made all the settings that I wanted to keep the same that I wanted the same through every low five processor like the uh, effect level at 80 um, the pre-filter post-filter on the uh, noise suppressor 65 release at 10 you know so those are some of the things I wanted the same so when I copied that to the hard drive then I copied them back to all the user slots, the same lo-fi processor, to all 100. Now my flowchart stated that I would have five bit rates, five separate bit, bit rates. And that would be 16, as you can see there, 12, 8-bit, 6-bit, 4-bit. And in each bit, Rate, I would have the LP, which is the low pass filter, the HP, which is a high pass, uh, the BP, which is a band pass, and the BE, which is a band elimination filter. Um, now, within each one of those, the, uh, the sample rate would be full, which would be 44 1, then it would be 1 half, 1 quarter, 1 eighth, and 1 tenth of that. So that was basically for each bit rate, there were 20 different settings times five bit rates, which is 100 lo fi processors. Um, and that's how my flow chart went. So as you can see, from one to 100, you got the uh, it's set up 16 LP full, a 16 bit low pass full. 16 LP one half, 16 LP one quarter. As you go through them, you know, HP is high pass, BE band elimination, and then you got 12 bit, 12 bit, low pass full, blah, 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 8 bit, you know, you scroll through, you can see all the way down to, all the way down to 4 bit. Um, there you go. That's the last one. Four four bit band elimination, one tenth of the frequency. So what that allows you to do is you can take a sound and you can basically scroll through real quick and see how that sound is affected by the loop lo fi processor. Um some of these I actually like. I, I did it just for a uh just to show you how to do a workflow. You have to if you want to do this on your own, you're gonna have to tweak it to see what sounds right and then write it down and put that in your flow chart um, oh yeah on the C knobs what I elected to do was to on the first knob is the bit rate direct level see this the standard is 80 for the effect level then you can adjust the direct level from 0 to 100 to see how that sounds um, on, on the C2 knob I elected to change the uh, dB octave curve here from minus 12 to minus 24 and that affects the sound uh, kinda decently and then on the C3 knob you can sweep through the frequency from um, 0 to 100 that way when you're going through the sounds some of them might not sound good on bass drum, some might not sound good on snare, some might not sound good on on hi-hats so when you get to a when you get to a different MF, MFX uh, lo-fi processor, 
You're going to have to sweep through to see where it affects it to your liking. And any other f further uh, tweaking, you'll have to go into the edit. But those are those are just rough ballpark um, settings for those uh, MM, MFX uh, processors. But this um, this kind of template here kind of makes a f the workflow real easy to uh, to tweak your your sounds instead of sitting there and try to program each lo lo-fi uh, processor separately. Like I said, this this improves the workflow greatly. Um, this is just a template I threw together just to show you how um improve your workflow. A hundred is a lot. You may want to only do 20 of your favorite settings. Um, if you want to do 50 of these and let's say 50 compressors or your favorite compressors, it's the same thing. You know, you, you go into the uh, compressor, you go into the compressor and do your thing. Where is it at? Comp would be here. Stereo dynamics processor. But it's, it's the same formula that I showed you for the, uh, the lo-fi processor. Like I said, you can have 50 of your favorite compressors in there. And um, do it the same way. I don't know what else to tell you, but I hope that helps somebody. Um, like I said, I was gonna try to keep this short. Uh, if you don't understand what I did, uh, just hit me up. If you want the uh, if you want the template, just like I said, just drop a drop me a a line in my in inbox on YouTube or leave a comment or whatever you gotta do, and um, I'll get that out to you. So I'm Wax at Peace of the Nation and I'm out.